San Diego Unified School District got a lot of pushback about a change in how long emails in the district should be kept for the public record. So now NBC7 investigates has learned that the district will put that new change on hold. NBC7's Roy Devine told us about the change in the first place. Now she's here to explain why there's been a change of heart, Roy. Yeah, change of mind for sure. Lots of uh, pushback on that, and that's the reason. NBC7 Investigates first reported this change last week. Beginning July 1st, the district would no longer keep emails for longer than six months, permanently deleted unless flagged by an employee to be archived. This is an important issue of transparency, and the public pushed back. When we heard about these types of changes and when we understood that um, you know, uh, public advocates, you know, for open government, uh, you know, folks in the media were saying, hey, wait a second, this could be a big policy change that could really affect, you know, uh, our ability to, uh, you know, to get information. We said, wait, we got to slow down. In part, the change of heart came after this letter written by attorney Corey Briggs on behalf of San Diegans for Open Government. Because emails are just like any other public document. Public, public record, even though they're electronic, they still are the property of the public. And there's a statute that says it's a felony to destroy or get rid of or hide any sort of public record. Briggs says under regulations issued by the Department of Education, the earliest school districts can get rid of any records is three years after the annual county audit is done. And while different agencies have different rules, he says... Because there's no rule that allows you to get rid of... Six months. But we need to understand all of these issues because, of course, they're balanced against, you know, uh, the ability of the public to have access to information. Barrera says the issue will go before the school board Tuesday night for review. He says the board and the superintendent had no discussion of the change prior to it being announced to staff. He believes some staff thought the change was a procedural issue, not important policy that needs to be adopted by the board. It's an important enough issue that we said we've got to discuss this in open session. Again, I think what's likely is that um, we're going to ask for a full review uh, and look at what other public agencies do and, and have a full understanding of what the law requires. It's a conversation you have to do in public and it's a conversation that needs to be informed by technical people, by open government people, by concerned members of the public who interact with the school. Uh, and, and with school officials. It, it can't be uh, hatched behind closed doors. We check with other school districts about their email retention policies. Poway Unified says it retains emails for one year. The Oceanside School District said it does not currently have a retention policy specifically regarding district email or correspondence. It said it is working on a board policy now and hopes to have one in place in the next school year. And we did not hear back from Sweetwater Union School District. Mark, Catherine.